we're back to the future, another 500 years. In the future, One Piece card game set seven. This is what's going on. We got another box of set seven back for our weekly scheduled shrimp. I'm sorry, guys. I know I've been uh, a little bit lax with my weekly shrimp drops, but I've just had a lot going on. I'm actually moving, so um, the, my YouTube studio setup will change probably after this video series. Um, if this is your first time here, thanks for coming by. If you consider hitting that subscription button, it does help the channel out. So thanks for your consideration. But if you like to see every card in a pack, bless them. I bless them a pack, so you know we'll see if that's the best one. Um, if you like to see every card in a pack get opened, this is not the channel for you. I just look at the card in the back, and I'm really just looking for SRs and alt arts right now because we did a case opening video with my son San Miguel. Oh yeah, Jim Bay, and uh, we pulled some insane heat out of that case. So now I'm just trying to buff out my alt art situation a little bit more and make sure I have enough SRs because I'm really just making making cards these days. I'm making like everything. I've been having a really good time just making cards. We're gonna open two boxes. Oh, Dofi. Yo, this is the SP, that is hot. That is a hot SP. Cards are really useful also. Just a good blue staple but very hyped to pull this card. I, I do like the art on this a lot. The foil looks great. So if I can just pull the Ezo now, then I think that's all four because in the last box, oh no, there's also a, a Nami in this set. There's five, right? Nami, Ezo, oh no, there's also Okiku. Are there six SPs? Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to pick those up because I'm not, I'm not gonna open that much of this set as I usually do, Stussy. But I think we're gonna see an alt art. I think we're gonna see an alt art and a secret rare in this box. I'm pretty sure those were the ratios. Was it was you get an SP and alt art and a secret, or maybe it could be an SP and two secrets. But an SP doesn't take an alt spot. But I am curious. I didn't actually count how many SRs. Usually in boxes, I think you get seven SRs. Is usually the breakdown. There's our secret ace. This card's insane. Yeah, absolutely insane gets rush and gives you a life always gives you the life but it gets rush if you are two or less life i think yo i love this card somebody was saying there's something that's a misprint on this i didn't i didn't see what the misprint is maybe i'm missing it but this is definitely my favorite card in the set and i need a zillion of these alt arts is it oh wait no yeah i don't know what the misprint is on here but Looks great, great looking card. Um, and oh, if you watch my case opening video, I was getting really hyped talking about how this is the only alt art by Oda. It's not, that was incorrect. That was fake news um, because the gear five Luffy from set five also, but that was a secret. That wasn't an SR, but the SR ace and uh, white beard and the SR Sabo from set four. So white Ace and Whitebeard from set two, Sabo from set four. Ooh, Lilith. Those are all um, those are all Oda arts on SRs. But this is the first Luffy art that's not a secret. So the secret was the Gear Five Luffy from set five. But this is just an SR Bonnie that has an Oda alt art that's also on the box, Luffy on the box. So I think this set's gonna go down in, in history as one of the, the bigger sets from this game. I'm gonna drop some cards, gotta put these away. I usually just shove these in the box, but I haven't been. I think there should be one more alt art in this box because I'm pretty sure you get an SP and an alt art in SP boxes and we got a secret. I imagine the other SP box is probably just gonna have like a oh a comma there it is there she is this is an insanely pretty card power crept searcher 2k searcher which is really good so on play searches i wonder if searchers are just going to become 2ks which would make nami not as good but let's see if there's any more srs in this box and then we got our afro luffy and finally another dawn nice all right, so let's count these up. Let's check this out. What did we get in this box? It was 
uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it's seven SRs. And then I'm sure if you get an alt art SR, that would take the spot of an SR. We got the one, this is a rare alt art. Um, and then our secret rare and the Dofi. I'm gonna open another box. I'm gonna do two boxes for each of these videos because you know what? Why the heck not? It's gonna be six videos to get through this case. So there'll be six weeks of videos and then I'll go on another break. Here's our next box. So box two of two for this video. And then I'll strip them some more, some other time. I'm just I'm just gonna strip them when the sets come out. That's kind of how that's kind of where I'm at now. You know, I got a lot of other stuff going on. I'm gonna start making some uh, stickers. I'm focusing a lot more on the office. I'm a dentist, which I usually review at the end of the video. We'll go over some really exciting tidbit of dental information. But I'm really excited for my new YouTube studio. So I'm going to be in a new place, um, and uh, it's gonna be dope. So I'm very excited to share it. Bless them with you guys. Hopefully I'll get to really display some, I have a pretty cool collection of, um, I'm gonna put these over here. I have a pretty cool collection of uh, figures that I haven't ever really displayed in my YouTube videos that well. Um, so I'm hoping that when I go to this new studio space, I'll have a nice display of those figures. Lilith. This is pretty nuts that this card can just play out of your life in search. I think that's really good. I don't know if Vegapunk can actually be good. So I feel, oh yes, as many of these as possible, please. I feel like the American meta is not a good representation of what actually goes down in the meta. Um, I mean, Japanese, sorry, in the meta that happens here. So like, for example, Whitebeard was not really like a force to be reckoned with in Japan. I think it topped like maybe one event or something like that. But then it became the monster deck here for the longest time. Um, I see potential with Vegapunk. I think the downside is, you know, I think, I don't know. I guess right now I'm just thinking of everything into ST13 Luffy. And in theory, ST13 Luffy with the new Luffy, Egghead Luffy, can just kind of like kill everything. I'm still working on my list. I made a deck profile for it if you go to my deck pro or on my channel history i made it like on my birthday so i think on june 6th that should have come out oh sabo that i personally like the regular sabo secret art better than the alt art i just think it's more dynamic and more stylized i love when the one piece characters get really stylized in this game to make a very unique looking art for a character but yeah, I've uh, been really enjoying playing SC13 Luffy. I Oh, Frankie finally comes out to join the fray. Yes, we didn't pull Frankie in our case. This card's so good. I love this card. And the texture's sick. I need to figure out how to do these textures. Hamza, if you're watching this, see that top right corner? We got to figure that out. It's like these circles that move like that. See that? We gotta do that, dude. The Egghead Luffy has it also, so we gotta get these textures. It's all around him. It's like cosmic. I don't know. I don't know if you can, can you see? Like, is there, how do we do that? I'm sure you'll figure it out at some point or another. HZ19, if you guys haven't followed him on Instagram, dude's a genius. He makes like all the textures for, all the cards I make, Kaizoku cards. Like if you see this Afro Luffy, his Afro looks like an Afro. He drew that texture and put it on the Afro to make it look like an Afro. Dude's an absolute genius. Oh yeah, also if you're having a hard time with ST13 Luffy, I'd recommend picking up this leader from Kaizoku cards. It'll make your deck a lot more powerful. This, I, I like haven't dropped many games at all since I started using this leader and I changed my list up. But my, my theory on my list is draw more. So. It's a, uh, it's a draw more deck. You really, I think that the searchers make ST13 Luffy bad. That's my theory. I know it's a hot take. Actually, it's a pretty cold take because I practice it and I understand that it is true. Boa, I love this bow art. I actually might, I, both bow arts are really, really good. Really, 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 really good. Um, but I think that searching makes the deck bad because every time you search, you bottom deck a bunch of stuff that you need and then you don't see that stuff again. So you can't, you don't, you're not going to get down to the bottom of your deck. So when you bottom deck something, it's just, you say bye-bye. 
to that target and you might need it and it's hard to decide which ones you need because there's the three different routes of the three brothers and you don't know exactly which one you're going to need and which piece you're going to have so when you bottom deck like two of them it feels pretty bad so i um i'm playing a draw more build that's my theory so i just want to draw cards and i think drawing cards in this game is really are really really good because there's not a lot of there are a lot of decks that like don't really draw that many cards so every card you draw it kind of sets you ahead a little bit i don't know if there's gonna be is there another hit in this it's gonna be in this or in the blossom all right blossom here we go to shrimp them this is it our last oh this is just a dawn so this is a two hit box we got a frankie and the secret sabo so cases are not mapped because this differs from the case that i had opened previously but thanks for coming by i'm a dentist i can't end without a dental tooth tip a dental tooth tip to you would be, I've made this one a number of times, but if you are thinking about straightening your teeth, do it. It's not just worth it for the aesthetic component, but you get better function with straight teeth because they hit each other in the right place. They're less likely to break each other down over time and they're easier to clean when the spaces between them are idealized. But if you do straighten your teeth, make sure you wear your retainer and keep them straight the whole time. Thanks for coming by and I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>